Hello everyone, my name is Andre and today we are back with some more Yu-Gi-Oh! Abridged episode 19. This time, uh, Yagamash. Yagsamash. Yagsamash. Something along those lines. <laughs> uh, this is a tough word for me, I, I would need to hear it first. After that, I might be able to say it, but there's no promises there, like trust me. So, uh, first of all, most, I wanted to apologize really quickly for the lack of videos this week, you know, life just being a bit crazy, but it should all be fine and working from here on out. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's uh, you know, vacations, family, all that good stuff. So, it's it's been a, a busy week for me. So, yeah, uh, I just wanted to clarify that. Uh, and... I think that's that's mostly it. I also wanted to talk about something. Like, guys, I just uh, just a couple of hours ago, I was just watching uh, the newest video of Game Theory regarding the FNAF franchise. I wanted to talk about this because I I can't be the only one who just looks at that and and is like, Jesus Christ, how is it possible? It's amazing to me how the creator of Five Nights at Freddy's has managed to do such a world that you can clearly see that you know basically nothing and everything at the same time. I just find it fascinating that he manages to do that and keep updating the story and, 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 and doing that. You know, we know everything, we were wrong, we were not wrong, but we were wrong. There was this comment in that video that, that said exactly this. We are wrong about being wrong, about being wrong, about being wrong, about being right. <laughs> you know, all, all of these back and forth that, that he has managed to do, basically, up until now, usually, when it comes to storytelling, is not actually possible. Because, you know, if you do back and forth and if you, like, change stuff and then rechange stuff that you said it previously, usually it opens space to contradiction and confusion, but that does not seem to be the case, and that's why I'm fascinating by the fact that he can retouch stuff that he did in the past in terms of the story, but at the same time maintain the clear foundation created previously. Uh, I was surprised by this new the theory, I mean, uh, and I was just so amused. So please do go look at that if you are interested in, like, just... Lore, heavy lore based stuff. Watch all of those FNAF videos of MatPat because it's just amazing. Like, seriously, I was just so incredibly surprised. Um, so, yeah, I just wanted to talk just, just a little bit about that because I was like, so, whoa, you know. <laughs> it's true. I was just really, whoa, about that. Um, I know it has nothing to do with Yu Gi Oh! Bridge. <laughs> well,. I never keep myself on topic, so why should I start to now, right? Let's be honest. Uh, <laughs> how about we just finish this and, and begin with the episode, shall we? <laughs> Guys, as always, please don't forget to share your support. The little Karibo links are in the description below. And if you don't mind, if you'd be so kind, please do click subscribe. It helps a lot the channel. We are growing stronger every single day and it really means the world to me. Uh, so I want to appreciate everyone who's already subscribed and if you haven't already please don't forget to drop that subscribe button. It's free and it helps us both a lot. So <laughs> thank you so much and as always don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Uh It's it's just so that you can keep yourselves updated on whatever I am doing. I'm not the best social media guy, but, you know, uh, there's always room for improvement <laughs> there. But I still post sometimes, so if you don't mind, please do go there and click follow. Let's begin, shall we? Yu-Gi-Oh! is filmed on location with the men and women of the Domino City Police Department. <laughs> I can't believe I failed. All I wanted to do was steal an ancient Egyptian artifact, seize control of a billion dollar company, <laughs> and resurrect my dead wife, and I would have gotten away. Oh, is that, is, was that his plan? Huh. I do feel like there would be a better way to do that. Hmm. And can, and are the Egyptian uh, Millennium items that powerful that they could bring back someone from the dead? Hmm. 
It's interesting. It's interesting. Way with it too, if it weren't for those meddling, meddling kids. Even yeah. think about making a Scooby Doo <laughs> reference. What do you want, Bakora? Can't you see I'm feeling distinctly unfabulous? I want your Millennium Eye, so I'm challenging you to a shadow game. But I don't have any cards. Cards? <laughs> We're dueling. We don't need cards. We're going to do battle with ancient Egyptian laser beams. Oh right, I remember this. Yeah, no, I do remember this. This only happens once in the show. It's the only time this happens. I, th if, yeah, if I'm not mistaken, Bakura wins, which it's fine. You know, Bakura winning here uh, is actually has a lot of meaning because it's a setup, right? It's showing that Bakura, or in this case, Zork, because it's the spirit inside the Millennium Ring, right? It, it means that whatever is happening here will have meaning in the future and and it also means that the scene here ups the tension for Bakura right making him look like he's a bigger deal than you'd imagine previously especially considered by the fact that he actually lost he just lost <laughs> against Yugi a couple of episodes ago but yeah, that's that's besides the point that's Besides the point, uh, you know, this making him win against Pegasus um, has actual meaning here. However, it should have been with cards. But my point, my point with this is that this is the moment to introduce Bakura as a bigger villain by making him win a card game. It should have been with the cards. This is thematically wrong. It, you know, this show is not about beams. This, uh, this is not like Harry Potter. Or something along those lines. So it just doesn't really make sense. When you think about it. That these two are beam fighting. Right? Instead of card fighting in the shadow realm. And it's it fails there. But again, it's good that Bakura... I, if I'm not mistaken, he wins and takes the Millennium Eye. It's good that Bakura wins here. Because it makes it sets him up as a bigger villain. Hey, yeah, right. Jesus, remember how I said I was going to kill you last? That's right, Bakora. You did. I <laughs> lied. No, don't take my Millennium Eye. It goes so well with my outfit. Ah, that's the wrong eyeball, you fool. <laughs> oh, sorry. That's much better. If I'm not mistaken, uh, one thing that actually bothered me as a kid when I watched this show, it actually disturbed me was thinking that the Millennium Eye completely occupied the uh, the eye of, uh, of Pegasus, right? So that when it was taken out, he just had like a gap there. And instead of having an eye, I, I was always so bothered by that. I don't know if that's actually the case. I don't remember anymore. But I remember this tick really being like, no! Hey, Croquet, what happened to Pegasus? Mr. Pegasus is feeling under the weather. He looks <laughs> kind of dead. Well, he's not. <laughs> yeah. Now, excuse me, I have to he is not actually. my throat. I can't believe Pegasus is dead. He died <laughs> as he lived, <laughs> draped in the arms of another man. Let's <laughs> to his things. Man, that is one girl I'd like to play card games with. And by play <laughs> card games, I mean have sex. Pretty. Yeah, of course. Look, it's Pegasus's blog. Just Reading makes this sense. should allow the writers to fill in a bunch of plot holes. <laughs> January 12th. Mood fabulous. Darling Cecilia, I still remember, remember the, the first, first day, day we met. You were the second most beautiful person I'd ever laid eyes on. The first was me, of, of course. course. We fell in love instantly and decided to get married. Then, when we were standing at the altar, something very unexpected happened. You exploded. Yeah, that was kind of weird. Wait, <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait a second. Look 
fuck was that? <laughs> what was that? And when we were standing at the altar, something very unexpected happened. You exploded. <laughs> she just went poof. <laughs> Why? Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of weird. In my grief, what? I took a trip to Egypt. Because that's Why? what people do when they're grieving. They go to Egypt. Little did I know, my destiny was waiting for me right around the corner. Yag Shemash, my name is Shadi. And in my country of Egypt, we no longer use slave to build pyramid. Now of we course. make women do it instead. It's nice. <laughs> if you come with me, I will show you why I hang down. <laughs> Wow, that accent is very, um, Borat. That is very nice. Nuts from I my can't ears. do it. I, I followed him into an underground chamber filled with ancient artifacts. Jewish peoples are always trying to come in here and steal my millennium items. So, wait, let's see. What's missing? So the scales are there. The ring was still there. The 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 Peoples scepter is missing. To come in here and, and if the scepter is missing, well, obviously, the necklace slash crown because it goes on the head here, and that's and that's something that I I want an explanation why it's called a millennial necklace when people use it on the head. Like, well, it's whatever. And steal my millennium. And you know you have the millennium key. Whatever that is. That is. Items. I forget what that's called. Since you are not Jew, well, that. I let you have this one. It will grant you the power to see into people's minds. It's nice. The Millennium Eye gave me the power to see into the world beyond. At long last, I was reunited with you, my love. I thought my dream. Why is she dead? Please do tell me that she. Th this is actually explained in the show. <laughs> she does just turn into a rose and dies. That makes no sense. Dreams had finally come true, but then you exploded again. You Why? Really need to stop doing that. It says here that Pegasus <laughs> found a way to bring Cecilia back from the dead using the Millennium Items and Kyber Corp's virtual technology. Man, I've read fanfics that made more sense than this. <laughs> Look, Pegasus must have released Grandpa's soul. This is super special awesome. Would you stop saying super special awesome? It stopped being funny 15 episodes ago. <laughs> oh, you did not just say that. Get yeah. back here. Nobody disses my catchphrase. You huh? snap at him. What the hell's going on? There has been a great disturbance. In the Someone has stolen a Millennium item. It was probably this little Jew boy. He must be hiding his horns underneath all that hair. I will use my Millennium Key to probe yeah, his mind. Yeah, it's the Millennium Key. <laughs> Just give me a minute. Wow, wow, we wow. The Jew's mind has been divided into two separate chambers. One looks like it belongs to a little boy, a very untidy little boy. If he lived in my homeland of Egypt, he would be stoned to death for his insolence. This <laughs> other room is very mysterious. It gives me funny feeling in my cram. Why would you Who come the in? Devil, are you supposed to be? Yag Shemash, my name is Shadi. Yag I'm Shemash. here to persecute those who would. See. See? See, it goes on the head. It goes on the head. The eye actually makes sense to go there because it's the third eye to see all. Steal my millennium items. Um, okay. I like you. Do you like me? No. Look, I don't <laughs> steal anything. But if it'll set your mind at ease, then have a look around. By the way, have you ever seen Labyrinth? No. Why? No reason. <laughs> What's happening here? I have no idea what's happening. Well, this guy is just having a day, you know. Don't worry, I'll save you. This little boy has saved me. Perhaps he is not as Jewish as I had first suspected. What is this? Wow. Place? Five thousand years ago, Egyptian kings played a game of great and terrible power. These shadow games were played with real monsters and real magic. But these games erupted into a war that threatened to destroy the world. Exactly. And so all the monsters were locked away inside these stone tablets. Are exactly. you trying to tell me this show 
actually has a plot? Oh no, <laughs> you have angered the Dark Magician. Our only hope is to summon the Blue Eyes White Dragon. No, don't. <laughs> Why not? That's you Kyra's like, monster. Yeah, I'm he's... not going to let myself get saved by that. Dark Magician, <laughs> you are not a gun. You are who you choose to be. Now choose. Wow, wow, we wah. This little boy and his obscure movie reference has saved us both. <laughs> he must be the one the prophecy spoke He is the of. chosen I one. I apologize for screwing with your head. It turns out that you are the chosen one. Now I must return to Egypt, even though I have not found the one who stole my item. Remember, the fate of the world rests on your tiny This is the setup for Marek, Jinkui. I guess. Mokuba, can you hear me? Wake up. Uh, who the hell are you? Are you the angel of death? Aw, oh, isn't that <laughs> cute? Mokuba thinks he's dead. Yugi Moto, you are now officially king of card games. As winner of the Duelist Kingdom tournament, I bestow upon you this extremely girly card. Also, here's three million dollars. Shit, yes. Now you can pay for your sister's operation. Screw my sister, I have money. You each have five minutes to get off the island before we release the hounds. Big brother, release where the hounds. are you? I'm starting to develop abandonment issues. Let's <laughs> face it, kid, Kaiba never I loved you. Uh, oh. Seto, it's you, and you're smiling. Oh, whoa, that's weird. Uh, <laughs> stop smiling, big brother. Yes, it's please. really creepy. Kaiba smiling? That's the most disturbing thing I've ever <laughs> seen. Whenever Kaiba smiles, a puppy dies. Yes, that is true. Because of the circumstances, our last duel was not conclusive. Perhaps the next time we duel, we will finally learn which of us is truly superior. In Yugi. case you hadn't noticed, I'm the king of card games. And besides, <laughs> I already beat you in the first episode. What's your point? My point is, you're never going to beat me, so yes. just get over it. I hate you so much. Come on, Mokuba, yeah. we're going to have our own <laughs> tournament with Blackjack and hookers. In fact, forget the tournament. Well done, Yugi. I agree. We saved the I world. agree. And more importantly, Can I be invited? In Kaiba's face. Yeah, by the way, who the hell are you? I have had many names. Once I was known as Pharaoh. Then I was known as the artist formerly known as Pharaoh. But you can call <laughs> me Yami. I thought your name was a test. Shh, don't spoil it now. Shh. I just realized, now that the tournament's over, we have to go back to school. No! <gasps> Well, it's not like he's going to last long, right? <laughs> say goodbye to the Duelist Kingdom. Can't say I'm very sad to say goodbye to it. Quick, someone fetch a bedpan. <laughs> oh, too late. Mm -hmm. Well. Uh, so that was episode 19. Um, <laughs> I absolutely adored this episode. Uh, um, the com I, I really enjoy the comedy, uh, this episode. Uh, but I do have questions, obviously. Uh, again, this show is clearly just a simple parody. Meaning that it's not focusing on the plot, so it doesn't care to give you explanations on the plot. And it doesn't really care on following very closely the story. It's more about the jokes and the satire. Which is fine, again, it's a parody, so it can do that. Uh, but I will say that I am very confused regarding why Pegasus' wife exploded twice. Because uh, <laughs> that makes no sense. Like, unless you tell me, and even if you tell me there was a Millennium item, like, involved in there, unless that whole thing was like, let's just say, uh, maybe she was sick, maybe she was killed by someone looking for the Millennium items and stuff and something like that, so they thought Pegasus might have a connection, so they killed his wife, maybe, you know, maybe it was against sickness. Uh, why she disappeared when he was a able to access the Millennium I I don't know. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's the weirdest shit. Um, but I don't know why that's just made me laugh so much. I, I don't get it. But, um, besides that, um, 
yeah, I, I really did enjoy this episode a lot. Um, so, yeah, guys, I'm gonna leave this up here. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please don't forget to like and subscribe, all that stuff. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram, and I'll see you on the next one. Uh, bye!